How's it going, everybody? It's me, Walter Tuomi, and I'm coming fresh off of the CompTIA Security Plus exam in which I failed. If you're here, more than likely it's because you are feeling apprehensive, you haven't taken it yet, you want to know what to expect, you want to know and get insight on why somebody else might have failed, what didn't they do, what did they do, where do you feel like you went wrong kind of thing. Well, I can kind of give you an umbrella about what that is and what I feel that I did wrong. I studied for four months with very little to kind of understand in the way of hands-on knowledge. I don't really have any hands-on knowledge. I did do about three years working for a cable installation company in which I was an IT for that company. But not on the contractor level, the on what the Security Plus exam kind of entails. I also did a bunch of research when it comes to preparing myself. So I bought the whole course on CompTIA on their website, the official course. I went to many different outlets, such as YouTube and Reddit. I took an overall inventory of what to expect. And I still went in fairly confident. There were moments of doubt. I didn't fully comprehend or grasp what I was actually about to get into and how wordy the actual exam is. I went to a bunch of videos on YouTube and took a bunch of their practice exams and a lot of them were helpful. I'm not going to say that they weren't and I'm not going to poo poo on anybody's videos because honestly, failing comes down to you. It comes down to the person who took it, right? So did you study enough? Did you prepare enough? Did you retain enough information? Did you get enough sleep? There's so many different factors that are going to go into being prepared enough for an exam, especially one of this magnitude in which it's more or less a national. It's like the NCLEX, right? For uh, RNs and LVNs, it's, it's pretty difficult. So what I will say is if you don't feel confident about where you're at going into the exam, that's a good thing. Don't feel confident. Don't feel like you've studied enough. If anybody tells you that there's something specific that you should have prepared for, more than likely, well, at least in the videos that I watched in which they told me to prepare for something very specific, what I got on my exam had nothing to do with what they were telling me to do. Uh, there were multiple resources that were like, you need to prepare for this. You need to study for this. This will be on your exam. And none of that information, none of that was on my exam, which is what shocked me the most. What I want to say about 15 questions in, I knew I had failed. And most people, by the time that they're finished with the exam, all say that they feel like they failed the exam. Even when they pass it, they feel like they failed it. Most people that feel like they're passing it, from what I've read, is the exact opposite. They wind up failing it. In my experience, I will say... Without a shadow of a doubt, within 15 questions, I knew that I had not prepared for the exam in the way maybe that I should have. Again, I took four months. A lot of people are going to say that they took four weeks. They took two weeks. They took two days. Those are people with information and knowledge going into it beforehand. I will stress that there is no way I can see that you will pass the CompTIA Security Plus exam within that amount of time of studying. There's a lot to take in. There are so many acronyms. The acronyms you need to learn is pretty broad. I would say drill them, every single one of them. Don't hesitate. Don't skip. Don't think that that isn't going to be on your exam. More than likely, the, it's the ones that you didn't study for that will be on the exam. I prided myself on my acronym knowledge. Now, at the end of it, you get an exam score record that tells you what you need to prepare for. So go to CompTIA on their website, and there is a very specific exam checklist that and they break that down. Download that. That is going to be your best friend. That is what's going to get you to the end of this thing unscathed. Well, relatively unscathed. I mean, unless you have an eidetic memory and you can remember everything and every little detail without having any experience, that's the only way I can see that you would pass this with above 
an 800 score. Maybe a little bit of luck because a lot of the stuff, even on the PBQs, the PBQs were pretty tough. I will I will say that. Don't don't spend any time on the PBQs right when the exam begins. That's step number one. Skip over those. Go right into the questions. Don't spend more than a minute on any of the questions. Get as far ahead as you can. If you don't know, if you have to think about it for a little while, just flag it. Don't let your ego be your amigo. Just skip it. Get on ahead of it. And here's the funny thing. I've been going to school for about two years with a focus in cybersecurity. I've been studying for my computer science BA with a focus on cybersecurity. And even then, with the knowledge that I've gained there and through that, still wasn't enough to prepare for me. With all the resources, the CompTIA actual certification, the YouTube videos, the resource books, if you go to Reddit, they're going to tell you it was one of the hardest exams they ever took. And I will straight up tell you without a shadow of a doubt, it's the hardest exam I ever took. Whenever you go into this, thinking that you studied enough, you probably didn't. I'm not trying to discourage you. You have to take this exam if you want to be considered for an actual job in cybersecurity. So you have to take this, right? It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when for some of us. And they say that 90% of the people that take this fail their first try. So go into that knowing that that's the case and you'll be okay. Like mentally, don't be discouraged. And some people can beat themselves up, get as much sleep as you possibly can. I feel like I got enough sleep. I feel like I even feel like I studied enough. Maybe it's just the exam that I got and the information that I felt like I relied on a little bit too much that caused me to fail. I'm not saying that it wasn't me. Like I was the one who took the test, right? I'm the one who took the exam. So at the end of the day, it's all on me and what I chose to prepare for. I studied for maybe 150 acronyms and I didn't get, I want to say maybe, maybe 20 of the acronyms that I studied for were on this exam. It comes down to not just knowing the acronyms, but knowing what they do on top of knowing what they are. So if it says the AAA, the, you know, accounting, accounting information, I don't want to go too much into it because I don't want CompTIA to come bang it down my door, but just know that you need to know what that does. You don't just need to know that what it, what it stands for. Know what that does, know what that means, and then you'll be okay. So good luck to you. Hopefully you get that on your first try. If you have any information that you would like to share on what you think helped you prepare better or what resource that you have that you used to help you pass that you want to share with anybody else, any other listeners, anybody going forward, anybody other watchers of this video, more than likely this video is for somebody that failed as well or wants to be prepared before going in so that they know what to expect. I just want to wish you guys good luck and I'll see you on the other side.